Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to fix our Thetford Style 2 RV toilet. Uh, the seal in it's leaking a little bit, it's letting water pass, it won't hold water anymore. And so we're going to go ahead and replace that seal. We're going to also replace the water valve and the little arm that activates the, the flapper and the little flapper. Stay with me and we'll get right to it. All right, so I've already removed the flange bolts and disconnected the water supply and removed the toilet seat and pulled the toilet out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is flip this thing on the side, and like that. And we're going to grab a hold of the handle and pop it off like this. And like that. It's still kind of wet from cleaning. So this is the little arm for the ball valve. So we're going to unscrew it just like this. Pull the screw out and pull this arm out. We're gonna discard that. We're gonna place the new one in like this and it should lock in place. And we'll line up the screw. Now we're gonna to have to take this back off when we replace that um, ball valve, but I just wanted to show you how easy that one is. All right, now we're gonna take the little water valve off. We're gonna lift up here and turn and it should lift out just like that all right so there's the water valve and then down in there that little black thing we're gonna pull it out with some needle nose pliers Let's see if I can get it kind of like that and you'll see there's a little spring and a cup and we're gonna put a new one in all right here's the new spring and cup you want the narrow end of the spring inside the cup like that. And then we'll take our pliers once again and we'll hold it and set it down in this hole just like that. And seat it in there. You might have to use your screwdriver. Make sure it's seated. Here we go. Now we've got to put the the new O-ring on the new water valve, just like that. O-ring, this piece goes like this. And we're gonna set it down in the slot. Just like that. And then rotate. Just like that. And you want this valve down like that somewhat like that and it locks against this little tab it takes a little force to get it to pop in there because it has o-ring on it but once you get it seated in there it fits pretty snug and then that's your water valve all right if you can see in there um, this toilet has two screws here and it has these little clips can see back here maybe so once we take these two out we can slide the bowl forward and lift it off and it'll expose that flapper valve and these screws are number 10 metric and then we can slide this back <laughs> kind of like that 
we've got, we have to disconnect to this water line because this ties this air breaker to the toilet. Should be pretty easy to pull off. There we go. And then we can lift this basin off. Kind of like that. We'll set it down here out of our way and we'll get that all cleaned up before we do any more. All right, so now this is pretty simple. We gotta pull out this gasket right here. We'll discard that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this screw back out and we're gonna pull this back off. So there's the screw, there's the arm. All right, so here's the ball valve. We'll pop that off, it's got a little seal on it. And then this is the side with the arm. You can see there, we're going to take a screwdriver and kind of pop this out from this other side. Kind of like that. And then the whole ball valve will just kind of drop out. Right now, we're gonna take the new bat valve and this end has the piece on it that the arm goes in here. So we're gonna put that end in first. And this is flexible, so we're gonna squeeze it back into the other slot. Kind of like that, and it should snap right in. There we go. Now we can put this back, snap it down. It's got a gasket on it, so you wanna make sure it's snapped down all the way, like that. Then we can put the arm back in. And again, it's got a little notch so you want to make sure you get the notch down like that and put the screw back what i do with the screw here it is and it's handy to have a magnetic screwdriver too when you're doing this by the way there we go okay got the screw back in make sure when you do that you hold the flapper and hold this with your thumb so it doesn't pop out of there now all we have to do is put the new gasket in this gasket right here and then we'll set the bowl back on put the two screws back in the back and then we can put the arm back on and reinstall the toilet like that and snap all right so i hooked the water hose back up this pretty much just sits on these four little points and you twist the porcelain and it snaps in place we're gonna put these two back on you can see there that that one's not really lined up so we'll spin it and line it up put these back in and you don't want to over tighten them this is plastic after all make sure everything's secure we got our water valve here And we got our new flapper, got the new seal in there. All right, now we just gotta put the arm back on. Well, let's flip this thing back over. Now the trick to putting this arm on is just getting all this stuff lined up. All right, so we wanna line up the spring. The flapper goes in that slot, spring there. You put on it at a little bit of an angle and turn it. Get everything lined up just like that there we go and it returns like it should before it wouldn't return because everything was all gummed up and stuck so there you go now i'll go ahead and reinstall it basically put a new gasket on the floor put the two closet bolts in hook up the water line we'll let tina test it out see if it works
Okay, well that's pretty much how you fix your Thetford Style 2 RV toilet. If you find a really good deal on a new one, by all means, replace it. Um, if you don't feel like going to this kind of trouble to fix it, but I was able to get all the parts to completely rebuild this toilet for about 45 bucks off Amazon. So I'll put all the links below in the description so you can pick up the parts for yours if you decide you want to rebuild it. You can get a new toilet seat. There's other parts I didn't replace. I uh, hope this video helped you. hope you got something out of it. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Tell me what I could have done better. I'm always looking to improve and grow my channel. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.